In this video, we're gonna go over what a symlink is and how to create one. So essentially a symlink is, uh, symlink stands for symbolic link, and a symlink is essentially a shortcut. And it's a shortcut that is generally used on the command line um, or in systems administration or uh, in more technical things than just creating shortcuts on your desktop. Although it will show up, uh, basically it will look like a shortcut on your desktop. So in order to create a symlink, you would do ln-s, and then you will have uh, the source file, and then your symlink file. So let's go ahead and create um, a source file. We'll just do this with text files. So let's uh, start with my file.txt. We'll just create that. And then let's edit this really quickly and say, um, I have something important to say. Not really, but we will just go with that and claim that we do. And then if we're going to, so let's make sure that we're getting in here to the spot where we can see our file. Okay, so we've got myfile.txt. And if we were to look in that, then we can see I have something important to say. All right, so now that we have that file, let's go ahead and create a symlink. So make sure to include this dash S, otherwise you'll be creating a hard link which um, will basically create an exact copy of the file that, that stays linked. So um, hard links aren't used as much as symbolic links. There are uses for them, but we won't go over that in this video. So we're gonna use dash S, and then we'll wanna use myfile.txt, and then um, maybe we, for the symlink, we will have like this new name that needs to be used. So we create this new name, and just like I mentioned, it's going to be a shortcut. So you can see that it has this little shortcut icon. It actually shows up as a shortcut in Mac, and it behaves like a shortcut. If I were to open this, um, then it's actually opening my file.txt. Okay, it shows the exact text that I had, um, and it behaves like we are opening my file.txt. It's just a shortcut to that. Same thing in here. Um, if I were to cat out new name from the command line, then it's gonna show the contents of uh, myfile.txt. If I were to inspect the contents of this directory, wow, there are a lot of hidden files up here. But if we look at new name.txt, then it's actually gonna point to this myfile.txt. So, um, it won't show that if we just ls, but if we ls la, then it's gonna show all the details and we can see how that symlink is pointing here. Um, if we remove the, um, the original myfile.txt, then now this symlink is gonna be broken. Okay, and so if we open this up, it can't complete it. Um, and the same thing here. Um, let's see what it's called, new name. So if we cat that out, there's nothing there. Uh, because the symlink is not pointing anywhere now. So if we do lsla, it's still trying to point to this myfile.txt, right? But this does not exist actually. So if we were to do uh, myfile.txt again, um, let's see if now it points back to it, right? So it points back to it again. The, the link is still there. We created the file again, so now the link is connected again. So that is uh, how you create symlinks. That's what they do. Um, it's just ln-s, and then you're gonna have your source file or the file that you care about, and then the actual symlink. So that is what symlinks do. That's how symlinks work and how to create them. Hopefully that helps you, and we'll see you in the next video.